What is up, everybody? It's Ryan here, and I am super pumped. Der Eisendrock, or whatever you want to call it, is there is a trailer for it now. And I am here to show you guys uh, what I see in it, doing a little breakdown of it. So let's go ahead. This looks really exciting. So here we have uh, just kind of looks like the general area, but what I'm pointing out here is there is a uh, trap right there. You can see you activate it. I do assume that is a trap. Not sure what it activates, but this is just confirming there is traps in this new map coming out. In this chapter of our zombie story, we'll be introducing episode four, the Eisendrach. This is the first chapter in an epic time-traversing zombies odyssey that will unfold over the course of Black Ops 3's... So here's another little thing. Uh, you see the little circles there that uh, looks just like the things that would spawn the Marg was when you had the sword. So that could be a part of it. I assume there's Margwas in this and there will be supernatural beasts. Four DLC packs in 2016. I'm a sucker for medieval castles. <laughs> That's where we're going in Drys and Drag. We've got this wonderful ancient castle that all the kind of evil forces and all the kind of mind-bending stuff that we do in our zombie storyline is all kind of infested in this one location. The castle was built upon an ancient site where many dark atrocities have occurred over the centuries. The site contains massive deposits of the recently discovered Element 115. So this is huge. It's got lots of 115, just like you said, and this room looks crazy. There's a lot of a lot of green stuff going along in there. You see speed in the corner. There's a gun on the other wall. Um, not really much you can see or actually know about this room, but it looks like it is of very significant importance, probably part of the main Easter egg, I would assume. It just makes sense. It's a room full of 115. This allows us to kind of play with other narrative and thematic elements uh, in a setting which is uh, a personal favorite of mine. On the Awakening DLC, we'll also be introducing... Four okay, so uh, this is also really big. It gives you a lot of hints at what there is in the map. Uh, we have, as, as the guy was about to say, there's actually four new Mega Gumballs coming out. And so here, let's look at this picture. There is creatures. We got zombies, parasite, elemental, which the Koroth, no idea what that is. The Margwa, which is right underneath that. Beast, no idea. Pod, no idea. Magic box, that's probably the mystery box. An ID gun, it's called. Uh, might be the, um, the new wonder weapon it's probably some form of real like living thing like it was before and we got robot so i'm thinking that might be like the uh that robot that helped you fight guys can i slip in my mind what it's called anyways uh we got shoot in another column uh consume kill open gather compete spend transform feed grapple survive weapon shock and break so some of these are new they're just new verbs they obviously mean something very important um you guys feel free to think what you think because really a lot of it's going to be trans you're going to transform again i'm guessing it's kind of sounds like it but this is continuing off the old storyline so i am not 100 percent sure how this is going to work if we're going to be transforming as the original four characters or we're gonna have another four new ones who have the curse again i guess we'll find out we got some nouns there head ritual world points door perk power up trap so this shows that uh there must be rituals again we're sacrificing there's probably going to be those uh guardians coming after you again um not sure about head the world is i'm not sure just the world but anyways, that we got function, world, slash time. So this is pretty big. Uh, time. We're messing with time in this game, I guess. Uh, it says all in, into, at the same, or at same time. Seconds, minutes, hours, time, only ones, and finally. 
Finally must be when you complete the Easter egg. That's just a guess. But all of these, it's very interesting, actually, that they're incorporating time into this game now because you are, of course, going from time zone to time zone. As you can tell, you're in a, you're in a medieval castle. And we, I guess, we'll find out what this time means. Is it the in-time game? Is it real-life time? Or what? Uh, we'll only find out either if they release some more trailers or when it comes out. More new Mega Gumballs. This chapter is very much about introducing new concepts, but then also bringing it to a conclusion. We're incredibly excited to answer a lot of the questions the community has, bring some sort of resolution to a lot of the torment that we put our fans into, and then also maybe introduce some new concepts to have them puzzling out into the future. So as you can see, it's on next year. Clear your calendars, because Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Awakening is available on February 2nd, first on PlayStation 4. So there you guys have it. That is my breakdown of this new Zombies map. If I missed anything or you guys want to add anything, throw her in the comments. If you liked what I do, hit that like button right in the face, subscribe, and get ready for some more zombie videos and look back at my old ones. Hopefully some of them can help you out. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.